quick job here to do. Um, I just need to hang a, a hose hanger right next to this hose bib. And uh, I recommend, in my experience, using uh, Tapcrete screws and a, uh, a hammer driver if you have it, or a, uh, a drill hammer, whatever they're called, um, because it, it goes through masonry much easier. Um, this hanger that I have is very simple. It has two holes and they're a keyhole. So if you're going to use the keyhole feature, make sure that your screw head fits through the keyhole and then doesn't fit through the top of it. So this one is correct. You can see that. Um, so I'm just going to uh, kind of eyeball where I want it. I want it higher than the hose bib. I want it up here so that I can have a long coil. I don't like to coil up my hose really tight. So I'm going to put it about this height. And I'm going to put it in the middle of the brick. Instead of drilling into the mortar, I'm going to drill into the middle of the brick. So I'm just going to hold it up here. That looks like a good spot. There'll be plenty of room for the hose to come around and wrap around. And it won't be hanging over the handle because sometimes you don't want to get all the hose off just to turn it on. So I'm going to choose this spot right here for my first hole. I'll just do the top hole and then hang it and then I can mark the second hole. Make sure it's in hammer mode if you have a hammer drill. You probably hear the difference. I recommend using an impact driver with a, uh, a hex head bit. Um, these screws have both hex and Phillips head on them, but the Phillips head tends to slip. So if you have a hex head, you have a much better grip on the screw. Make sure that you drill the hole deep enough for the screw that you have. This screw actually goes through the empty cell in the brick to the far side. <laughs> So I can just hold it up to there and see that I, I need to set the bit out another quarter inch, three eighths of an inch. I'll just loosen that. Bring it out a little bit. Obviously you don't want to come out too far so that you're barely holding on to the bit, but this should be fine. I had the bit all the way seated in there. Okay, so that'll be enough. If I go all the way in, that'll be enough for the screw to clear. Didn't think of that. So now I have to drill the second part because when I spun that in this hole, it just it pulled all the threads out. You know, masonry doesn't really have threads. It just kind of cuts its own. Okay. And obviously, if I, if I screwed up this hole, we can just move over to here. Okay, and you want to leave it about an eighth inch out so that this uh, hose hanger will hang on it. Or more. There we go. And once you have, have it over the keyhole, you can tighten it down. Now, I want to be really careful how much I tighten this because I've already, like, I've lost half of my uh, grip strength by, by stripping out the front half of the brick, if that makes any sense. But it is grabbing on the back half, so there's a hole in the middle. That's what I'm talking about. It goes through the hole into the back half. So now I can get this level. I'm just going to eyeball it. And that looks fine to me. And then I'll drill the bottom hole in the top of this keyhole. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but it jumped. So I need to hold it still so that it can't make it jump. Okay, 
I was hitting something pretty solid and I felt the, the bit reseat itself. So now checking, I can see that the bit's shorter than the screw. So I need to let the bit back out and finish that last little bit. Also, I highly recommend uh, hearing protection when you're doing this. Um, my ears are ringing right now. This is just a short little job. So sacrificing my ears for convenience. Don't recommend that. Okay. And we'll just finish up this hole and make sure it's going to be long enough, and it is. Finish up this hole. Okay, and then just take our second bolt, and drive it in there. Okay, that bottom one really has a good purchase. So, I mean, the top one is stuck in a hole, but it's not really grabbing the threads very well. I think if you spun this a couple times, it would strip out. But it's in there, and it, the weight is this way. So. As long as it can keep itself in there, it's fine. And this one, I think you could hang an elephant on this one. So, should be fine. Just wipe off the dust and uh, hang up my hose and hook it up and I'll be all set. If you're like me, you like to see the finished product and this is just the hanger. I happen to have the hose and the nozzle right here. I've got a nozzle to go on the end of it. And I'll hook up the uh, stick it end here. And then just do loose loops over here, like I was talking about. Um, as you're looping it onto the hanger, you want to make sure that it's relaxed it's not twisted because if you loop it on there twisted it'll kink all up you know and try to try to get itself back in some and it might anyway see this is already kind of doing it a little bit but i think if it sits out here in the sun it considers everything it should be fine but as you're putting it on there you might have to untwist it that's what i'm doing right now just naturally puts a twist in it when you twirl it around on here. So you just keep it where it's not twisted. And then I'm getting to the end here. Just put this nozzle on. Always make sure you got your rubber washer in there too, otherwise it just leaks all over you. Put that on nice and tight, nice and snug. And now I can turn the water on not going to come out anywhere until I turn this on. I have one of these triggers. Hear all that air coming out. There comes the water. And uh, this is an adjustable nozzle, so I think. There you go. Wow. Okay. That's almost like a hydro laser. So uh, there it is, and uh, thanks for watching.